guys, it's just Eat and I have an unboxing of Ume Crate. So I tried to reorder this one, or I didn't try, I did reorder this one because they had like a Halloween ramen, which I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. And it was just like a bonus one when you got the Halloween box. So I think this might be October's box. Um, Cause it takes a hundred years to get here like from Japan. I don't know, it doesn't say. So, I, but I got another like box from them that was like, um, it just says ramen. Well, it tells me what kind it is, but I don't want to spoil it. I didn't realize that. I just saw it. All right. And you're going to hear my kid back there talking. She's eating her supper and she's kind of grouchy. So when you open the box, it looks like this. And you get, oh, this is November box. Okay. So it might be a little bit different than last time I ordered it. Cause I feel like it's been like over a year at least that I got it. So you get a card that had like a recipe card. So that's pretty cool. And this is all in English, the recipe cards. Um, and then there's like the booklet that you get that will tell us what everything is. And then there's like some pictures of people posting. And we have two, four, six, eight packages in here. So the first one, I'll just pull this one out because it's on top and I see that it's shrimp, which I don't really like the fish ones, which is why I like stop getting them because their fish is super fishy. So we have this one and it is seafood vermice vermicelli noodles, which I do like vermicelli. Uh, it just says that Japan's all about seafood. Cook up some of your own seafood vermicelli noodles flavored with oyster and garlic. Just add your favorite seafood additions for a hearty meal, which, and it gives you directions how to cook it because Literally, these are straight from Japan. Everything is in Japanese, so you can follow the pictures, but it's easier to follow the instructions. Um, it's kind of weird because I thought like vermicelli was like um, Vietnamese, but I guess it's Japanese and I do have some shrimp in my freezer, so maybe I can cook some up and put it in the vermicelli. Um, okay, this one looks weird. So it's green. Look at how cute its little container is. I feel like this one if it'll focus, has like a shell on it. So I feel like this one is fish too. Um, it says Okayu Kitchen Sea Lettuce and Clam. It's also known as rice porridge. It is healthy and traditional Japanese food that is similar to risotto. It's a combo of sea lettuce and tasty clam dashi. So I don't know if you guys could see the picture. It looks like it's got like clams. And it's like rice and some green stuff, which I'm assuming is, if it'll focus back on there, I don't know. There we go, sea lettuce. So we'll see. This is kind of why it's like iffy because I'm always like scared to try them because then it's like, if you don't like them, then it's crappy. Um, let's do this one next. This is a bag. This one feels like it's like wet inside. So it's like those noodles that are like pre-cooked almost like in, a liquid. I don't know if you'll be able to like see in there. Uh, this one is Japanese style butter soy sauce spaghetti. So now you can make your own. It's a popular Japanese flavor combo that's perfect balance of sweet and salty. So give it a try. It says try it with bacon, mushroom, spinach, and onion. So that might be okay. Just like fry it up. I don't have bacon, but I have onion, mushrooms. So that might be all right. I might try one of those for supper. Um, and then I'm seeing this big blue container, which also looks like it has shrimpies on it. So if you see down here, they're like a little shrimp. So this one is Umakaro seafood shrimp ramen. Um, yeah, so if you like seafood, it's a real deal. And it has dried shrimp bits. So literally every single one of these has been like seafood flavored. So that's why I only got one of these. Um, Hi, me. And then this one looks like it's hot, so also not my forte. Uh, this is sun ashy spicy ramen. It says it's spicy as the red broth boasts soy sauce and hot pepper soup. Oh no, we can't open it, baby. It's just noodles. Can you tell everyone you love noodles? Noodles. We're not gonna eat that yet. Can you go eat your your supper? No. You're done? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well then sit nicely. Um, next one I see is like this pink one and it looks like it has some kind of weird fruit no. on it. We can't open it, honey. We're just looking. <laughs> We're just looking. We'll
we'll make it later. Okay, we'll make it later. It's okay. Um, Maruma Zuzu or Yuzu Somen. So it's a citrus fruit. So I was correct. It is fruity, um, resembling a grapefruit, and it's an mandarin orange. Take your taste buds for a spin with this Somen dress with a light, refreshing Yuzu fragrance. I don't know. See, some of this stuff is really weird. I don't know if I'll like it, but we'll try it. Violet likes noodles, as you heard her, so she'll probably want it. Uh, then we have, oh, this one's a bonus, so hold on, we'll do this one first. Samurai Ramen. This one looks like something, it's vegan, so good, it'll be one that I like. This one is, enjoy this super healthy ramen, it's made without ingredients derived from animals, MSG, food dyes, and preservatives. The soup is classic Japanese flavor blend of miso, soy sauce, and sesame seeds. Try it with corn, mushrooms, bean, or Corn, mushrooms, bean, sprouts. So that one looks good, so yeah. It's got like a squishy and some hard, so I feel like the noodles are hard and then it's got like squishy sauce. But yeah, now she's walking around with a blanket on her head, so just in case she runs into the camera and it's all wiggly, you know why. And then this one, it says is a bonus, and it is plum topping. I don't know, it looks like this, it just says, Umi is Japanese plum. It's very popular in Japan. It has a distinct sour flavor that you either love or hate. The tube makes it easy to add umi to all kinds of food. Enhance your Japanese cooking. Try it with noodles and vegetables. Maybe I'll just eat it all by itself. Um, there's kind of like pictures on the back, but I don't still don't know like what it looks like. So that's everything we got in the box, but then I'll show you the um, extra. So I just like randomly got this box and it just says like, instant noodle. <laughs> and then it says on a different side what it is, but I don't wanna, I didn't see that before. I just like spoiled myself when I told you that I got this box prior. Um, so this would have been like the Halloween surprise. All right, so says, we hope you enjoy your bonus gift. Thanks for being a part of the J Japan Crate family. Your crate will arrive separately. Which is weird, because I got this one after. And look at all the cute little guys. And then there's only like, see, do you see how big this box is? Do you want to see what's in here? This is crazy. And I don't know what it is. So, because there's no instructions. So it just looks like this. It's got a jack-o-lantern and it just shows me some noodles and you pour the package in and it's just like that. So, um, don't know, I'll have to check on their website hopefully so I can see what I'm supposed to be doing. Japan Crate, what the heck? Okay, and that's everything I got. So, um, I switched my Japan Crate, or like Umi Crate, or umami crate, however you pronounce it, from the ramen to the candy because I felt like that would be more, I, I almost said more better, terrible grammar. Better because I like candy, whereas I don't like all the fishy ramen. I love ramen, but I don't like fish ramen, which it seems to be all about that. But let me know what you guys think. If you've had any of these, if you would eat them, if you would not eat them. Um, and I'll try to keep you posted when I do try them and see how they are. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.